Good morning, ARC preteens. Hope you guys are still safe and healthy. I've got a special announcement regarding our Minecraft Mondays at the end of this lesson, so make sure you stick around so you don't miss it. Uh, I'm coming to you from my room. Obviously, this is my room. This is where I sleep. And voila, you can see my face now. I got the camera, I got the webcam. You can see me, you can hear me. Everything's all working out. I'm like in the corner of your screen or this corner. I don't know which corner I'm in. Uh, and we got the, the slides ready for you. Uh, behind me, obviously, you can see my uh, Cristiano Ronaldo poster. Uh, that was uh, from when he was on Manchester United, so it was a long time ago. My Canadian flag is back there, and there's a cowboy hat from Camp Yukon. You can also see my dresser with my hats over there, my grad photo, my tech deck collection. Uh, never would I have imagined uh, in this life uh, that I would be explaining what's in my room to preteen students, but here we are. It's this COVID season that's forced us into all kinds of new and interesting things. I needed a haircut even before all this COVID stuff. Uh, so my hair is only gonna get more messy from here on out. So please don't judge me because we're all struggling out here. Uh, I've been wearing sweatpants every single day, staying inside all day, trying to stay productive and to do things that we may not wanna do. Like I've been doing a lot of homework. I don't wanna do that, but I have to because I still wanna graduate. Uh, so yeah, and I'm gonna be honest with you preteens. I had a rough week, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, someone broke into my car and actually stole my Bluetooth FM transmitter and phone charging cable. So now I gotta pay to get my door lock fixed, which sucks because money's tight right now uh, because of everything that's going on. But God is still greater than that. Uh, even though this guy broke into my car and took some stuff and messed it all up. God is still greater and God has something to say to us this morning. Uh, and although I may be upset about my car and about the money that it's gonna cost to fix it, in the end, it doesn't really matter in the scope of eternity. As Christ followers, that's what we focus on, really. That's what we look forward to, eternity. Instead of focusing on our present circumstance and what we have or don't have, we have the ability and can choose to look forward to what's coming and how infinitely better it is in comparison to what is around us or happening to us or to other people around us at any given moment. And so that's where you and I are this morning, not focusing on our very real, but finite and insignificant scenarios, but instead focusing on the infinite, creative, merciful God who is faithful and just to forgive us. So what better way, I thought, to talk about Jesus and the Bible than to talk about Marco Polo. Maybe you never learned how to swim or you've never played Marco Polo, and that's okay because playing grounders also works here. So my question to you, is what makes Marco Polo or Grounders difficult for the person who is it? If you need to pause the video to think about it, pause here, or if you need to go back for some reason, you can go back. Uh, but if you need to pause at any point in this video, pause and go back. Marco Polo and Grounders aren't the easiest games ever because it involves having your eyes closed, right? Those games would be infinitely easier if you could just open your eyes when you were it, right? So how do Grounders and Marco Polo relate to our question of the day? Uh, and our question of the day is something we do every single week, every single lesson. We have a specific question that we walk through. It could be about God, it could be about the Bible, about us, about Jesus, about the church. Last week we looked at why are uh, Ouija boards, fortune telling, and magic bad. So, uh, and then like a week before that we, we talked about, does God care if I go to church? These kind of things. So our question of the day today is why did God appear to people only in Bible times? Because in the Bible, it seems like God was always appearing to people. But today, you don't hear a lot of people talk about running into God somewhere. So has God stopped appearing? Or is there something blinding us to seeing him when he does appear? Are we it, like in Marco Polo or Grounders somehow? And do we have our eyes closed for some reason so that we can't see God at work in the world around us? Here's something to consider. If God is still appearing to people, what might be blinding people from seeing him? Pause the video here if you wanna write that down in a journal, if you wanna to talk to your friend about it, if you wanna to talk to your sibling or your mom or your dad, uh, pause here if you need to, a second to think about that. The Bible describes lots of ways God appeared to people back in Bible times. Sometimes people had visions or dreams when God spoke to them. Other times people heard God's voice or talked with angels. They also paid attention to messages given to them in scripture and by the prophets. Moses even heard God speaking to him from a burning bush. So clearly God can communicate in any way that he wants. What about one more way? What about 
through nature. I know we all know what nature is, even if you haven't been outside in a while because of quarantine, I would hazard a guess that you still know what nature is. <laughs> Uh, the Apostle Paul wrote this about God in Romans chapter 1, verse 20. This is what Paul writes. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. So I want to suggest something, actually. I want to suggest that God is at work today in the world, right now. He is still appearing to people. And in the next five minutes, I'll prove it to you. How's that for a promise? Not only will I prove it to you, but I'm actually going to get you to prove it to yourself. In a second, I want you to pause the video and go outside into your front yard or somewhere where you can safely see outside or grab something from outside. And when you get outside, look at nature. You could look at the grass or maybe the clouds, the sky, a tree, the leaves on a tree, the dirt underneath a tree uh, or the trees planted in, some flowers, a bird. Just go look at a part of nature. And when you come back inside, bring a piece of nature back in with you. It could be a picture of the sky or clouds. It could be a small grade of, it could be a small blade of grass or a pebble. Uh, just make sure it's not too messy. I don't want your mom getting mad at me for bringing in messy stuff. Uh, but pause here, go outside for a minute, Look at nature and bring something back inside with you when you come back. So pause here for that. Okay, welcome back. I got my piece of nature right here. Brought in a little rock from outside. Uh, let's read Psalm 19, verse 1 to 4. The heavens, the heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day, they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard, yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world. King David wrote those words thousands of years ago. David lived much of his life actually outside and saw God everywhere. When he was a shepherd taking care of his sheep, David saw a picture of how God cared for him. When he walked through a deep valley and had to look out for robbers, David wrote about how when you're with God, you don't have to be afraid. David saw God in his experiences. We'll do what David did. We're going to look for how God is speaking to us in nature. How God is revealing who he is in his creation. Maybe when you see the sky overhead, you think, what qualities of God does the sky reveal? And then you realize the sky overhead reminds me that God is always there, always watching over me because he's so vast. Or when you see the detail in a blade of grass or a pine cone, you might think to yourself, this reminds me that God is a master craftsman. He's so creative. What he makes is so beautiful and unique. Now, hold that piece of nature you brought inside with you in your hand like this. I brought a rock, but whatever you brought, hold it in your hand like this and think about this question. How does your piece of nature remind you of God? What about God does it remind you of? So pause the video here if you need to write it down, if you need a second to think about it, if you want to talk to your parents about what it means or your sibling or a friend. Uh, pause here if you need to. I'm going to think about mine as well. You just spent some time listening to God speak to you about who he is through his creation. You paid attention to him and you listened for him just now. You noticed as he led you. That's the definition of a prayer, really, is listening to God. So all I have to say to that is amen. Thank you, Jesus. Nature is one way God shows up today, but there are others too. God may connect with you through a vision, or he could even send an angel to speak to you. He may show up through words or actions of other people, through the Bible, or through a gentle whisper in your heart. Remember, God is creative, and he has a lot of ways of appearing to you. So don't feel bad if he shows up one way to one person, but not the same way to you. Different people means God communicates with them in different ways. You've just proven to yourself that God makes himself known through the universe that he's created, through nature, through the people he's created, through the Bible, God's word. Which leads me to my big idea for today. Every Sunday, we have a big idea. Our big idea is the one main point that we take away from the lesson. It's the one thing that the lesson has been kind of building toward and the one thing that I want you to take away from today's lesson. So our big idea for today is God is at work today. Yes, even during COVID, God doesn't take a day off when there's a pandemic. God is with us. God still rests. He did on the seventh day on the Sabbath, 
but he's never far away. He's never reclining. He's never forgotten about us. He's never left us. He is at work even today, even in the midst of this crazy, crazy time that we're living in. God is always reaching out to you because he loves you and you matter to God. You do. So again, I say, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you that we matter to you. Thank you that you love us. And students, you're surrounded by God's creation. Look for God in every corner of it, in your favorite place, in every room you enter, in every sky you walk under, in every conversation you have. Always listen, look, and praise God. When you stop to look and listen, you'll realize that God is showing up all around you because God is at work today. Remember our big idea, God is at work today. He's working in and through us. And you can take that truth to the bank. That promise that he's working today in and through you will never fail you for the rest of your life. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any Sunday lessons, Minecraft Mondays, or Free Talk Fridays. If you forgot, I put the link to our Clip of the Week playlist down in the description, so don't forget to check that out after this lesson. If you missed last Sunday's lesson, you can go back and watch that whenever you want. Uh, and if you want to skim through our three, almost four hour Minecraft session from last Monday, uh, you can go check that out. And if you missed my Free Talk Friday with in interview with Desiree, you can also go watch that. Links to all those playlists will be down in the description for you. Uh, and I have something special planned for the beginning of tomorrow's Minecraft Mondays. I don't want to give it away, but it's going to be something that's going to be a weekly event that'll happen at the start of every Minecraft Monday. And then at the end, like we'll start with the weekly event. And then after we finish, we can just, you know, hang out, explore, build together, do all those things. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. I don't want to give away the surprise. Some of you do know, uh, but I'm going to be continually introducing new things every Monday to our Minecraft Monday sessions. Uh, so you for sure want to join in this Monday, tomorrow, at 1 p.m. to play Minecraft with us. You don't want to miss this, I promise you preteens. Uh, if you want to join our ARC Preteens Minecraft realm on the Java edition of Minecraft, please send me your Minecraft username through one of the links that I'll put down in the description. Uh, I will get you added in there right away. And if you want to join our Discord server, that's how we talk together with voice chat and we can type to each other and send each other memes and messages. Uh, also, link will be in the description to send me uh, your name that you want to be in the Discord server. If you don't know what Minecraft Mondays is, every Monday we play Minecraft. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, starting at 1 p.m. If you can't play or don't want to play Minecraft with us, I live stream my gameplay directly to YouTube. So even if you can't play, you can also join us by watching and you can talk with me through the chat. Uh, and I'll be talking back to you guys and talking to the people in game. And so you can kind of see what we're doing, even if you can't play or don't want to. Last Friday, we had Desiree as our guest for Free Talk Fridays. And this week, we have Mr. Consistency himself. We got Victor in the cut. Some of you know Victor. He always wears a hat on Sundays. He's there every Friday, also wearing a hat. Uh, we're going to have Victor this coming Friday on our for our Free Talk Friday interview. So you don't want to miss that because Victor is a great guy. Uh, and I'm going to be asking him some questions so that we can get to know him better. The same thing I did with Desiree. The, the one with Desiree was pretty long. I think the one with Victor, we're going to try and shorten it down because, you know, 55 minutes is a long video to watch. So we're going to try and keep it shorter. Uh, but whatever happens, happens. We're going to talk about whatever we talk about. And I hope you guys are there uh, to watch. Uh, and make sure you send in questions. Also, I'll have a link in the description for sending in Free Talk Friday questions if you want to know. Uh, and finally, I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy during this time, that you're not completely bored out of your minds. Uh, remember to focus on eternity. Focus on the one thing that will actually matter and actually last when everything else fades away. You better believe that when quarantine's over, we're going to throw a big party on a Friday when we get together, uh, and we're just going to enjoy being together once again. But until that day comes, keep it locked here on our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things ARC Preteens. Enjoy your week, guys. Enjoy your Sunday lunch and learn something new this week. This is Pastor Dyson. God bless you guys.